I'm a traditional herbalist and natural health practitioner working from my clinic, the Alternative Healing Centre in the beautiful Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney. Just my hair. Anyway, I've been doing a vlog on a mega juice and herb cleanse and this vlog right now is, it, is the roundup. It's all over. It's finished. Hurrah. This is the last one. Now it's been an interesting ride. I was intending on doing um, 12 weeks. Uh, I made it to 50 days, which I am embracing and thinking that's a good thing. You know, it's so easy on our health journeys, wherever we are, you know, you might be trying to eat more fruit and you don't eat fruit for one day. And it's very easy to beat ourselves up about these things. But the reality is beating ourselves up can be worse for our health than actually not eating the fruit. And in the same way when I um, decided to finish this um, cleanse at 50 day this fast I actually felt okay about it which I thought was a good little breakthrough um, physically I did talk about having um, this sensation of something deep inside me that needed to be cleansed and obviously I had all those um, you know the tongue or the crap coming out just feeling um, like I was literally vomiting the first days um, I had my clonics and my enemas and all that sort of thing but interestingly I do still feel under my glands under my arms uh, a bit tender and I feel uh, this is what I feel like just intuitively that whatever this thing is that I'm cleansing has moved from the depths and it's coming out <laughs> coming out of me and now maybe I'm taking my calendula I'm taking a little bit of poke root I'm taking a little bit of uh, baptisia a few little herbs to help shift it along violets in there as well but I have a feeling that maybe the next um, short cleanse I do that this might just you know be the last little hurrah in cleansing whatever this intuitive thing is out of me um, but yeah like I said it's been like a interesting acceptance of where I I'm at which is you know it's empowering and I think I had a bit of a light bulb moment when I was making a sandwich for my meat eating son now he doesn't have he likes bacon but I don't buy it because it has sodium nitrate in it which is a carcinogen look on the odd occasion I do falter and buy it for him but the local um, grocery store has not sodium nitrate free bacon now so I bought in some and I made a um, organic spelt bread um, bacon and egg sandwich and the eggs are like organic free-range non-baked eggs you know and I've served it up for him and he's got the store brought tomato sauce and just you know put it all over the sandwich my first reaction is like oh my god it's now unhealthy but then I was like no no just relax relax how many kids are being driven through you know McMedia McStorm freaking drive throughs eating shit that's classed as food and I'm stressing out because my son has put some you know artificial colors flavoring free sauce on his um, organic um, you know bread whatever and that's you know it's a bit of a I won't say light bulb moment but it was a moment of you know you just sometimes we have to relax and just enjoy life like you can get really hung up in you know health and healing feeling you have to do things a certain way but you know life isn't a certain way so sometimes we're just gonna you know chillax a little bit and yeah so that was that was good that was good and like yeah I think at the end you know emotionally spiritually that sort of thing was just to lighten up on myself but also to embrace how great I'm feeling and I'm now walking you know I'm um, focusing on keeping my diet high raw because I, I physically I respond well um, to high raw but not 100% and just you know vegan sort of just whole food plant based that's where I'm at and um, just trying to you know, be healthy as one in my profession tries to do so anyway 
thanks for watching I don't know when I'll do another vlog series like this uh, because they're a bit time consuming but what I am going to do I don't know how long it will take me but I'm going to start back doing my Ally on Herbs videos which are all about different herbs on my youtube channel i think i've done about 11 or 12 episodes and i'm going to take uh, up where i left off with that and that'll just be talking about uh, general herbs uh, ones that are hopefully easy to find or accessible and just how we can use them at home or just you know a little bit about herbs so sayonara if that's the right term from the mega juice and herb cleanse and i will hopefully see you back on alley on herbs when i get all that together thanks for watching and thank you if you watched all of this right to the end because that means that you've been sitting here for just over five minutes which is awesome all right take care bye